Hello and welcome back to the PSD to HTML flat design build. If you look at the PSD file for our design, you'll notice we have a couple of fonts here that aren't necessarily readily available on everyone's system. And these fonts were acquired from Google Fonts, uh, which is a free font repository. And we're actually going to link to Google Fonts in our CSS in order to import these fonts into our website. So if we hit T to switch to the text tool, we could click inside the text for one of these text fields and we can see the font that's being selected here. And this font is called Acme. And then we have this sans serif font here, which is called Synteny. So those are the two fonts that we're going to be importing uh, into our CSS. So let's talk about how to do that. I'm gonna jump over to Chrome. I'm gonna open a new tab here and I'm gonna go to google.com forward slash fonts. Once we get there, we have our basic font selection screen. And a quick way to get to the fonts we want, if we already know the names of them, is we can just type them in here. So I'm gonna type in Acme. And here we see the Acme font. And so I'm going to click on Add to Collection. And we can see now our collection down here at the bottom. And then I'm also gonna select that and type in Synteny. And here we see that one show up. So we're gonna click on Add to, Add to Collection there too. So once we've added those to our collection, we can click over here on the use link and we can see some options here. Now I want to include the normal and the bold for our Synteny font. So I'm going to check the bold option as well. Make sure that all those are checked. And then we can scroll down a little bit further and we can see the code that we need to add. Now, if we were going to add this as a link tag in our HTML document, we would use this link tag here. However, I'm going to import it into my CSS file and we're gonna do that using an at import statement. So I'm gonna click on the import tab here and this is the import statement we'll be using right here. So let's highlight that, copy it, and then we'll jump back into our text editor of choice. I'm using TextMate here and we've saved everything in a new folder. So all the changes here will be saved in the site 08 folder. And I'm gonna to go to the main.css file and we already have our import statement for our normalize.css file. I'm just gonna hit enter to go to the next line and then paste the code that we copied, which imports our two fonts. We've imported the Acme font and the Synteny font. So now let's talk about how we would include those fonts in our page. Let's skip a couple lines here and our default paragraph font is gonna be this Synteny font. So let's go ahead and uh, create a rule for the body element and we're just gonna set our font family to Synteny. Now, if your font name has multiple names in it with a space in between or anything like that, then you might need to put it inside quotes. But uh, if you're in doubt, you can go back to the Google Fonts page, scroll down, and we can see instructions for integrating these fonts into our CSS. And here we see font family equals Synteny comma sans serif. And you'll see that it does have single quotes around Synteny there, but if it's just one word, it's not necessarily needed. However, just to be safe, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take Synteny here and put it inside single quotes. And then I don't wanna just put comma sans serif. I want a couple of other backup fonts first. So we'll put comma, Helvetica, comma, Arial, comma, sans serif. That way we have a couple of backup fonts in case the Synteny font isn't working. And, uh, and then we have the sans serif font to back it up in case the user for some reason doesn't have Helvetica or Arial. Now by default, it's going to use the regular font style or font weight, I should say, which is 400. But if we wanted to make it bold, we could give it a font weight of 700 and, uh, and that would be available to us as well. Uh, but now I want to use the Acme font in our headings. So we're gonna skip a couple lines here and create a new rule for all of our H tags. So H1, all the way up to H6. And here we're gonna set our font family equal to Acme. And then we'll put a few backup fonts here as well. And I'm just gonna use the same backup fonts that we used for our other option for our uh, body font. And I'm using the same backup fonts here because I've tried a couple of serif fonts with it and it just doesn't look good with this particular design. So if the Google Fonts repository isn't working for some reason, if it's not importing correctly, then we're going to use the same backup fonts that we're using up here. Uh, and that's basically how we import Google Fonts into our CSS and then use those fonts in our code. So let's save that CSS file. 
let's go to our browser, go to our website, and we need to go to the site08 folder. So we'll type that in there and we'll go to the index.html page. And now we can see our custom fonts are being used. So it's very easy, very straightforward. The uh, Google Fonts website does a great job of helping you through it and telling you what you need to include in your files in order to get that to work. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.